everybody, and welcome to the continuation of our audience participation show. This is where you become part of Colby's Clubhouse in your very own living room. So pick up your microphone, if you have one, or just pretend your floor is the perfect stage. Or sing along, just follow the words on your screen. God is my friend. You remember when I was so scared about getting my shots? Yeah, I remember that. But now you're a pro. Well, not exactly. But the shots are helping me grow. I actually grew a whole size. Ooh, new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really appreciate you guys helping me through that. It helps to know you have someone you can count on.
just like God is always there for us no matter what, we should be the same for our friends. Yeah, our friends aren't there just for hanging out and having fun. We're there to help each other through bad times. I guess that's why God gave us our friends. Yep, that's the body of Christ. I can't even begin to imagine what life would be like if I was the only person in the world. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jess, the birds might mistake your hair for a nest. I like Jessica's hair. My mom pays a lot of money to have hair like that, but Jess has it natural. Salty came over to the clubhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this computer's acting real crazy. Yeah, yeah, all those wires were coming out of it. Yeah. Not to mention the smoke. Oh, <laughs> and it's smoke. just not connected right now. Mm. Yeah, just like my day that day. Remember how everything went wrong? Yeah. I was late for school, I forgot my lunch, and I even lost my dog. Yeah. I remember your wires weren't connected right now. Yeah. I learned a lot about praising the Lord that day. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you connect yourself to God, the whole day goes better.
has problems with everyday stuff like computers not working right. It made me realize how God is always there in every problem, every day in my life. And he's not only there for us, but he wants to help us solve all of our problems if we just let him help. Yeah, I usually try to do everything myself. Then I remember to ask for God's help. That's kind of backwards, I guess. <sighs> remember, first check your connection to God. Once you get plugged into him, you have a much easier time solving your problems. And you can even avoid some problems before they become problems. job you guys that was really cool it's kind of funny but my parents still listen to that kind of music sometimes it's that stuff from the 50s and 60s but I think it's really cool too what I think is really cool is that the songs we're singing sound like the songs from the 50s and 60s but they've got new Christian words so Kiera I heard you have a pretty cool solo in the next song ah uh, well I'm just kind of having a little fun <laughs>
So remember, everybody, and I'll try to remember too. <laughs> Plug yourself into God when you first wake up. It'll make your whole day go better. And if you're connected to God, he'll solve all your problems. Because God is real and he loves you. And once you're connected to God, he'll show you how to help your friends through good and bad times. God is faithful for all generations, to you, your parents, their parents, and on and on. Thanks for joining us in our 50s and 60s show today. I hope you had a good time because I know we did. <laughs> remember to write to us because we really want to hear from you. And remember, no matter where you are, to live each day with God.